I need some help because my video sucks. Well, I don't actually think it sucks that bad. I've seen worse, but I could use some help. Hey YouTube, my name is John Alba and I'm a content creator, podcaster, aspiring filmmaker, and um, small business owner. I made my first epic B-roll um, sequence with coffee for my wife and I's company. We have a, a skincare company and uh, it's a. It's the whole mission is to provide skincare products that uh, are not packed with harsh chemicals. So all natural products, and I, you know, I have the camera gear. So I've been producing our own content, and I came across Daniel Schiffer's YouTube channel. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Daniel Schiffer. I think that's it. And that dude is amazing. So he inspired me to create um, a B-roll sequence promoting a product that we have for our line, which is like a coffee tallow body butter. I want to go over some things that I think could have possibly improved my overall project. In case you're wanting to know, I shoot everything. Uh, I, I So I shoot with a Nikon Z6 II. Everyone has Sony, I know, so that was my first drawback. And I have a 28 to 70 uh, zoom lens on it. Um, I went with Nikon because my wife is a photographer. She's an actual photographer, and uh, she has a Nikon uh, 850. So when I was getting into videography and podcasting, I just went with the Nikon. That way we can in, uh, exchange or swap lenses in and out with each other. So that's what I shoot with. I did this video handheld, and um, there's a lot of mistakes in it that I see as a novice uh, content creator or filmmaker, whatever you want to title it, but I wanted to walk through two things that I think would have improved my overall project. One is, and I have them written down here like I'm a professional. So number one was plan the shots better. I kind of knew what I was getting into. Like I knew we were going to make coffee and then it was going to promote the coffee product at the end of the video. So the whole video sequence is walking through, making a cup of coffee. And then when uh, my daughter puts the cup down, it shows the product. So I knew we were making coffee, but I didn't write anything down. Like I just kind of walked it through as we were doing it. And I know that's like, okay, I know that's not wrong, but I think if I would have written down each shot better, it would have made for better transitions because there are some transitions where I was forcing a zoom up or a zoom down or a swish to the left, a swish to the right. And I think if I would have wrote the, the shot sequence down, it would have better, I would have like had a better game plan to transition up and down um, or side to side. The other thing, number two, I didn't choose the music until after. I know. That's a big mistake. I just, I knew that was a mistake too. I don't know why I did that. I, I knew I should have chosen the music even while I was editing, but I was so like excited about the content that I just had filmed with my hand. Cause when I filmed it and I was looking at it in the camera and I was like, oh my God, this actually looks kind of good. <laughs> so I got really excited and I started putting the edit together and like 40, like, like, uh, like 20 seconds in, I was already almost done with the video and I was like, oh crap, I didn't choose a song yet. So I basically just threw a song and slapped it on top of the edit. And I think, actually I know if I would have chose the song before I have, uh, I started the edit, even if I would have done like two or three of the shots in the beginning, just to get things flowing, I think it would have made for a better end product because the music is basically slapped on top and I know like uh, actual content creators can tell that it's just, there's not really uh, inter integrated well with the video. So I wanna go through the timeline with you in Final Cut. I edit everything in, in Final Cut, maybe like point out some of my mistakes that I was doing along the way. 
So like right there, that first beginning shot, I was struggling to find a good transition. So I went down and I think I could have, have uh, like done something different opening the bag right here that would have uh, like kept with that downward motion. So this was kind of a struggle to come up with something good. Um, it's okay, I think it's okay, but it's like, I know it could have been a little bit better. Um, that sequence is good. That little rolling sequence, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Um, you see the beans are falling, going sideways. And then I did like a little rolling action with the camera. So that was the first time I've ever done that little rolling thing, handheld. That's like okay, because I was moving with the camera. That turned out okay, because I was going to the right and still panning to the right in this shot. Um, this was just a cluster, because like, I guess it looks okay, but I'm coming up and then going back down, and it's just like a hard stop. So I think I could have improved that shot right there. Um, let's see, let's keep going here. A lot of this stuff is just like, oh, like <laughs> playing it back looks kind of bad. Um, just some B-roll shot here coming up. I think I could have uh, maybe done this shot a little differently. This is kind of a smooth one, like her slamming the lid down and then it going down to that. So that's kind of like an okay shot. I think I could have planned this a little better so that... It didn't work how we intended to work. I wanted the milk to actually go in the bottom, but I think we frothed up the, is that a word, froth? I think we frothed up the milk too much. So when she was pouring it in to the cup, it didn't go down, it just stayed on top. I'm like, what the hell? So I, I was, we kind of stopped and uh, I just kind of rolled with it. So it, I think it looked okay. Uh, but I think it would have looked a little bit better if it would have like, seeped into the bottom of it and then this is just kind of throwing together so yeah like uh, like turned out okay but i think it would have been just a tad bit better like i knew the only thing i knew was how it was going to end i knew i wanted her drinking it and it go to her face kind of slow motion and then quick like a speed ramp down to the bottom slow motion and then it showed the product so Anyway, I'm curious from other content creators, what would uh, you have done different? Or I can even give you the footage and I'd be like uh, really like excited to see what y'all would do with it. Um, but I wanna create more content like this for uh, our business. I think it's really fun, um, really engaging and it, it, it makes me look at the product in a different way. So I enjoy, I, I mentioned Daniel Schiffer in this video, but uh there's a butt more other people out there, but load of other people out there that I watched and stole tips and tricks from. So I appreciate all the content that they post. Um, yeah, so I'm, I, those are my two things. Plan the shots better and then choose the music before. Uh, let me know in the comments what, what, uh, what other things that you saw from the uh, clips and the video, the final video and the timeline here, what you would have done different. I appreciate y'all's feedback and uh, greatly appreciate a like and subscribe. I'll be posting more content um, in the coming weeks. Thank y'all.